Hi, I'm Catherine, and this is my lab video for the mitosis and meiosis lab. So the first step is um, interphase, and it's composed of three phases, G1, G2, and S phase. Um, and interphase is the longest part. So in the G1, in the G1 phase, the cells start to increase in size. Um, in the S phase, DNA is replicated, and in the G2 phase, cells are starting to grow again. So in the inner phase, they're, the cells are kind of like this. They're flat. Um, and the next phase is prophase. So in this phase, chromosomes are starting to condense and become tightly coiled. Um, and they are starting to appear as two sister chromatids bound together um, and the centromere is the central region where two chromatids are bound together and the meiotic spindles begin to form um, when the cytoskeleton dissembles and the nuclear envelope begins to break down so in prophase you have two of them kind of in a X shape and so going towards prometaphase, the nuclear envelope fragments and the microtubules, microtubules surrounding the spindle enter the nuclear area and interact um, and attach to the condensed chromosomes. Um, the chromosomes are therefore attached to the meiotic spindle and they start to move toward the middle getting ready for metaphase. So in metaphase, all the chromosomes um, become aligned um, at the like the equator, the plate, the middle. Um, so they're still in that X shape like this. And the centrum centrosomes have moved to opposite poles of the cell um, on either end of the meiotic spindle. And metaphase is the longest stage. Looking at an anaphase. Um, the proteins that hold the centromeres, centromeres degrade and the chromatids are liberated from one another, creating daughter chromosomes. Chromosomes then move to opposite poles via spindle fibers and the chromosomes leading the way, leading that way, um, the spindles move apart, cells begin to um, elongate and chromosomes are then um, fold even more apart and this is the shortest stage so your chromosomes are like pulled you have one up here and you have one at the bottom like this um, in telophase and cytokinesis um, the nuclear envelopes are formed um, around newly separated sets of chromosomes um, and the chromosomes assemble, assemble at the poles and the cell begins to relax and become less condensed um, and it's now divided into two nuclei so you have two separate ones on each opposite end um, so the distinction between mitosis and cytokinesis is mitosis is the division of um, nucleus is the division of the nucleus and cytokinesis is where one um, cell splits from its sister cell. So looking at the difference between cytokinesis in animal cells versus plant cells, that in animal cells a cleavage fur furrow is formed, um, pinching the cells in two, and in plant cells um, the cells are divided through the formation of a cell plate. Um, so what's happening to the nuclear membrane during all phases of mitosis is that the um, not all phases during the during prophase is that the nuclear membrane is starting to disappear and by late prophase um, it's completely gone.